loves welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new so happy to have you here today we're going to do an Ulta haul half the stuff I did purchase in store and half of it I did purchase online we've got lots of good things summer restocks summer brand new products that I can't wait to try out some I already have on my face because I did a makeup tutorial today uh yeah we're just gonna go ahead and jump in please subscribe if you haven't already I upload videos every Monday Wednesday Friday we do beauty plus like fashion food videos vlogs stuff like that if you're into it you're in the right place subscribe let's be friends all right let's do this Okay, I'm not sure what order you're going to see the videos in, uh, but obviously my hair is different. My hair is different. Um, and a few of these things you will have seen in a little vlog that I filmed because uh, I just went to the Ulta one day and took you with me and went shopping and I've, I hauled that stuff in that. What? I already hauled that stuff in that vlog, but there's so much more in this video. I'm just going to show you the few things that I got. What am I trying to say? She going to do one thing at once. What is this, Ulta? What is this? They sent me my makeup in a bag in a bag no additional bubble wrap only broke a blush and the blush was all over everything so I've cleaned it off with most of everything I need to contact them and let them know the blush arrived broken uh which is definitely a bummer I'm wearing the blush still today because I was filming this look and I wanted to use it so I just kind of tried it um but we'll talk about that when we get to it so I filmed three makeup videos today we did a tutorial we did a favorites and now we're doing this Ulta haul I don't know what order they'll be in but they're all coming for you in the next couple weeks I'm trying to get some more makeup content here on my channel because I've been it's been a little fashion crazy I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out because my brain is all over the place and I don't even know where to begin I don't know where to begin um I picked up a couple I think there's actually a few Derma E products okay so I picked up this guy which is their peptide moisturizer what are you called advanced peptide and collagen moisturizer it is vegan though um vegan cruelty free gluten free soy free recyclable wind energy certificates no parabens blah 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 blah. good stuff good stuff i am truly a fan of derma e if you have not tried derma e they're super affordable um i mean they're not the most affordable in the world but they are on the affordable side girl girl i have not tried this yet but i'm so excited i cannot wait to try it um, I'm trying to replace the Drunk Elephant Peptide Moisturizer that I have been using in this one. So much more affordable. I think they were having 25% off Derma E when I was in there. So I thought I would try it. I'm not, I'm guessing it's not going to really have a scent, but I will sniff it for you guys. That's what she looks like. It's a, a hefty jar. It does, it just kind of has a natural, a natural scent, which most of their skincare does. So I'll definitely try this one out and keep you guys posted. So I'm excited to try this guy. Of course, everything, I'll link it all down below. Um, I restocked my anti-wrinkle cleanser. I have combo skin and my cheeks are super dry and any other cleanser I use, I swear it just dries out my cheeks. I've tried so many and this one is like the only one that I almost, not quite, but I almost feel hydrated. Like, you know how sometimes when you wash your face and you feel like you need to put hydration on like ASAP, like right away because your skin feels super dry. This one is not like that. I feel like I can kind of be calm get ready for bed and then like enjoy putting on my skincare instead of like feeling like I need to rush and hydrate my face because it's so dry. Uh, so I really, really do love this. Again, I repurchased it they, under 15 bucks and you can get a deal on it. I think I paid $9 for it, which it's not bad. Stocked on this moisturizer. This is my favorite daytime moisturizer. So I'm hoping that because it, it works for nighttime, but it's not quite like a cream and I wanted like a cream for nighttime. So we're going to try this at night. Um, and this during the day. This guy smells like Fruit Loops. I've talked about it a thousand times. I'm obsessed. It's the vitamin C renewing moisturizer with probiotics and rubios. Rubios? I don't know what that is. 100% um, stable vitamin C may support collagen health. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It smells so good. And I love using this the next day after I do a like overnight peel. They have an overnight peel that I'm obsessed with. It's in a purple box. If I remember, I'll link it down below for you guys too so you can check it out. But I love doing that guy like once a week. Um, especially when I feel like my skin is extra texture and then I can hydrate with this and it's just it's just so good I got the new ordinary concealer um I tried this today I don't love it I don't hate it but I don't love it it's really thick I feel like this guy is going to be really good for just like spot concealing or concealing other places on your face rather than your under eye I feel like it's too thick for my under eye just personally um I did try it on the under eye because that's where I another one place that I conceal on the daily I'm very lucky that knock on wood I don't get a ton of blemishes they do happen um, but I feel like this will be a really great spot concealer I just didn't love it for my under eye I don't even know what shade I got it in because I can't find any way where it just says O on the top so if I can figure out I'll figure out what shade it is and put it down below for you guys if you want to try it if you're looking for a good like spot concealer there is quite a bit of coverage I guess I could swatch it for you um, that's what she looks like so a decent amount of coverage there, but I haven't tried the Ordinary Foundation or anything. I just saw this pop up in the new and I was like, 
five dollars. It was like five dollars and sixty cents or something. So I tried it and we tried it today and it was okay. Ooh, I'm so excited about this, you guys. You guys know that I am obsessed with these highlighters. Just My Type and Dare to Divulge are two of my absolute favorites and they had one left of this new one. Um, it's not super new, but it's one of their newer shades, Raise the Bar. Like this light gold. I feel like this is gonna be perfect when I'm like in between self tan. I'm pretty stinking fair right now. Um, ah. But yeah, she looks really pretty. I have not even tried this yet. I'm so excited to though. Um, I have quite a bit of highlight on, so I'm not gonna bother today. Uh, but this is one of the things I bought that day when I like went to the actual store. It's like a light gold. You can see it right here. Yeah, it's not. Oh, there we go. There you can see it. She's pretty. She's pretty. Tried out this new balayage brow from Revolution. I wasn't 100% love with it only because I don't love a large brow pencil. And one side is, one is shaped like the brow definer from Anastasia and then one is shaped like the brow is from Anastasia. I have always been a brow whiz fan. I don't mind the uh, brow definer from Anastasia. I feel like, I just said Anastasia like five times. I feel like their formula is a little bit drier so it's not as intense and they don't have as many shade options in this one. So I think for the shade being as dark as it is on this one, it's pretty red based. I got brown by the way. It just feels a little bit red when I put it in my brows. I'm gonna play with it some more and see, because you guys know how I am about my brows. <laughs> I'm very weird about my brows. Um, but I really like the tone of, it's just a little bit more neutral than this one looks a little bit more warm to me in person. I don't know how it's gonna translate. Um, again, I got it in brown and it's not bad. I'm gonna try it once. It's what's on my brows today with a little bit of NYX brow glue. Um, so we'll give it a go. This I just put in my favorites and I threw it back in here because I did haul it in one of my uh, Ulta hauls over the last few weeks. So I have been using this guy, I'm wearing it today. Um, if you are looking for a cool tone contour, this is 10 out of 10. I love the original one and they stopped making it. They stopped making the powder blushes and they switched over to the Sweet Cheeks blushes. Now I can take it out of the box and keep it out of the box because now I've shown you guys what it looks like in the box, um, but it's just the Sweet Cheeks blush but of course the shade is perfect for contour super cool tone i've been wearing it almost every day for the last couple weeks since i got it you can see it down there like it's just very natural the newer formula um in like this guy as opposed to the old one so if you try the old one that one did not blend as i just i'm putting it back in the box whatever <laughs> i don't know why i do this so good it blends so nicely there's still a lot of pigment behind it but it blends really really nicely so again if you're fair definitely check it out um this is the blush that i got that came broken again i have a little bit on my cheeks today this is in fig from sweet cheeks i'm not gonna really be able to show you because it is so busted i'm sorry you guys i mean you can see it on there look at this but yeah she's cute she's de definitely dark um very nice and cool toned it goes really well with this contour that's what I was thinking. Oh, it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. I didn't even really realize. Uh, oh, this one's a glow. That makes sense. So summer matte, summer glow. Um, she's really pretty and just he gets her busted. Girl, this palette. I think Taylor Wynn talked about this a while ago and um, I'm pretty sure she did. And it was sold out for a while. So I ended up picking it up. This is the J-Cat Beauty. What is this? Dia en Noche? Dia en Noche? Try Element 15 Pigment Palette. She is bright. She's bright. I decided to get a new palette. Feeling some electric yellow. So we'll definitely try this soon. I was going to try it today, but then um, I got the I Heart Revolution Marie Aristocats collection in the mail. So I had to go with that. And so we are very, very, very pink today. Oh, she's cute. I'm so glad this did not arrive broken. I was really worried it would. Look how bright that is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She is a bright bean. Woo! I hope that these translate onto the eye. Sometimes swatches aren't as good, so we'll see. We'll see. I'll swatch some for you. These peaches are beautiful. They're swatching pretty nicely. This guy was super affordable. I don't remember how much he was, but JCap Beauty's really affordable. I really like their products. So we'll definitely try this in a video soon. I'm not going to swatch every single one. I think I need to swatch that blue in the middle though. Heck yeah. Pretty. She cute. I wish that they carry J-Cat Beauty in store at Ulta because they really do. I really, I'm a, I'm a fan. I got one of these. Um, the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Glow Highlighter. I got so glazed. It looked like the lightest one. This is a big boy and look at how luxurious that packaging looks. Fancy. Oh, she looks so good. Oh, she looks a little softer than I normally go for, but I just put it on. I layered it up. <laughs> 
so I feel like this one you'll be able to kind of do a soft glow or a heavier glow if you want to um, if you're like me and you need like all the glow you guys know how much I love highlighter um, yeah this is gorgeous I'm excited this is a big boy I grabbed two more of these guys these are the eye bright concealers from Revolution. I had, I think, light. So it was like the second lightest shade um, for when I am kind of in between myself tan and being tanned. And then I decided to get the lightest shade, which I think is porcelain. Yeah, porcelain. And then I got caramel, 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 however you say it. How do you say it? I usually say caramel. I don't know. I'm from the Pacific Northwest, you tell me. Um, so this I got to contour. I did put like a base of this down to contour today. It is a little bit warm. Um, the shade that was close to this one, it looked a little more neutral slash cool toned, was out. But anyone I've seen on TikTok use this shade to contour. Um, Cause this is one of those going all around TikTok. Everyone's talking about it things. Um, and yeah, so I got these again cause I actually ended up really, really liking them. And I've been using the, the one that I have on the days that I'm just like running to the store and I just want quick, quick makeup. I literally will just like throw a little bit on under my eyes and on my lids, like in this area, cause I'm like wearing a mask anyway. And I tap it out with a sponge and I like throw on my brows and mascara and I'm good to go. Uh, so easy. And honestly, even if you don't have a sponge, sometimes I, sometimes if I'm like, just can't be bothered. The other day I left the house and I could not be bothered. So I just like popped it on and like just tapped it out with my fingertip and it blends so well cause it comes with like a little sponge applicator. I'll show you. This guy, love these. When I first tried it, I would not have thought that I would buy more because I was like, this is not enough. What is this? This is not enough coverage. I'm a shape tape queen, but there we go. Um, I already took this out of the box and this was actually one of the items that I went to Ulta the other day when I vlogged. So you've probably already seen this if you saw that video. This is just a new shape tape. I just got it in fair. Uh, it's a little bit light for when I am self tan, of course. This is um, the best one for when I am just at my fairest. Uh, I absolutely love this concealer. Um, I grabbed a Kylie highlighter. These were on sale too. Uh, so I thought I would try one. Finally, I got mine in Cheers, darling, which looks like a light gold. So I've heard mixed things about these. I feel like some people really, really love them. I've also heard sometimes you have to like get through that top layer. She's right there. She's right there. Oh, they look really similar. This one's a little bit more goldy though. And the one from Revolution is a little more pinky, but they're definitely the same tone. Oh, she's really pretty. She's really pretty. I'm excited. Um, I haven't bought any Kylie makeup. They once sent me lip kits and I've, so I've tried the lip kits. Um, that was like way back in the day. We'll try this on my face soon as well. Um, and just like that was on sale. Her concealer was on sale. So I thought I would try it. I got mine in stone. Cute little component. It's just like the Wet n Wild one though. And this one, I think I got it, not the light. I'm trying not to buy the lightest shade because I have been self tanning so much, but this is still. She feels nice though. Super thick. So we'll see how it works on the under eye and stuff. Um, it's a little bit peachy. Can't really tell. Uh, but I do have to say this one compared to the ordinary one already, like just the way it blends out on the hand, there's something about that ordinary one that I just, I'm not loving, I'm not loving. So I'm excited to try this guy too. Um, we'll have another first impression video coming soon. Again, I tried most of this stuff in the tutorial that I filmed today, but not all of it. So we all know if we're on TikTok, if you're on TikTok, you know that that good apple foundation from KVD Beauty is going around everywhere. It's sold out everywhere. I almost went and got it. And then I was like, Shannon, you don't really need it. Um, and then I saw Rose and Ben do a comparison between this one and the CoverGirl one that's supposed to be a dupe. And she compared them both individually to the KVD one. And she liked this one the most out of all of them. So I decided to grab it. I think it was actually the most affordable one too. I am not a cream foundation person. I'm not a powder foundation person. I am a liquid, I am a liquid, maybe a stick, usually a liquid foundation girl, but I got mine in warm porcelain. I'm really excited to try this. I should try it soon um, before I'm too tan. Is she looking, she's looking pretty fair. I'm so excited to try it though, as I just like sewn out. Yeah, I'm excited to try this. So we'll try this in a video soon. Probably another TikTok made me buy it. You know what I'm saying, girl? Okay, we're finally getting down, down to the end here. Okay, you guys know I've been loving Essence mascaras. They've sent me a few and I've really, really enjoyed them. So I decided it was time that I finally tried Lash Princess that all of you guys are saying it's still your favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, this is what the brush looks like. It's like a cult favorite. So many people think it's like the best. I'm gonna go ahead and start trying it. Obviously not right this minute, um, but I will try it and let you guys know. I love the Bye Bye Panda Eyes. I love the, what the fake? Look at these. 
these look, they've been in my makeup caddy since I got them. And I love this one for my top lashes and I love using the Bye Bye Panda Eyes for my lower lashes. Uh, so I'm really excited to try this one because heck yeah. I feel like Essence and Revolution mascaras are my favorite. Uh, so we will try this guy very, very soon. Pop it in there. I think this is the last thing. I got another one of the LA Girl I got another one of the LA Girl Dream Glitter Iridescent Liquid Eyeshadows. I'm wearing it on my lid today, actually, over a couple other eyeshadows. And I do have, <laughs> I did pop this little LA Girl uh, hologram glitter on top of it too. Uh, I'll show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's like a gold shadow from that Aristocats palette. And then I pop this on. She's cute. Uh, it's not quite as glittery as the other one, but it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Yes, queen. Um, I love the blue one. I think there's only two shades right now of this, so now I have them both. Um, if I had to pick one, I'd still pick the blue one, uh, which might be sitting by me. This is the blue one. It's like an icy white with blue. So there's both of those, just so you can see. Um, it's just me personally, I like that. But I think, honestly, together, they're really, really gorgeous. Um, look at those these are so affordable too love 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 all right love so that is everything for this haul i do want to say a quick thank you to amy on instagram she sent me a gift card to ulta it was during when i was like going through a bunch of stuff and just was feeling down and she wanted to cheer me up and i finally got a chance to use that guy so thank you so much to her uh so sweet of her obviously you guys please don't send me gifts uh but it was just so sweet of her and all right loves um i'm gonna stop rambling <laughs> i love you guys so much let me know what you are eyeing at ulta what you want to see next which of these items you want to see in a tutorial or test it out or what what you want what you want girl let a girl know um let me know what you're excited to pick up at ulta or what you've hauled recently from ulta that you love i always want to know all right guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it share it if you could it does help me out so so much and please subscribe if you haven't already i upload videos every monday wednesday friday we do beauty plus this fashion food videos vlogs stuff like that if you were into it you're in the right place let's be friends subscribe all right i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i will talk to you soon bye that does not exist the limit does not exist the limit does not exist okay that might be a little too big <laughs> I'm so scatterbrained today. And you think my face is fair. Girl, you should see my leggies. She busted. You just lose your mind completely. Who shall not be named?